but if you look at me genetically, 100% Jewish, and you can track that back, back to, I mean, if you really want to go into it, there are like two types of Jews there, like Ashkenazi Jews from Europe and Sephardic Jews from the Middle East and from Africa and everything like that. I'm 100% Ashkenazi Jew. So from like Poland, that. I, I think, think this is a perfect, perfect time, time for everyone, everyone to get yeah, more educated, educated on the religion. Yeah, yeah. I, do, I, do, I, do I do agree, agree, agree with you to a stance where I don't, don't think that that type of stereotype should be labeled on the Jewish community because I don't think that's true. Uh, I do think, though, that there is things lost in the history books. Me, in my personal opinion, I do think that black people were the first people of the uh, of the planet. So in turn, black people yeah, were the first Jews. So that's, different. that's, that's mm -hmm. different, though, because then, then everybody is black. Like... You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not really a good argument for me because everybody came from Mesopotamia, like 100%. It's proven scientifically. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. but then people, you know, <laughs> they move. They move to different places. Like, of course, the first dance, the first people were black. Like, you know, mm -hmm. if you go far enough, it's not a, back enough, everyone's black. Mm -hmm. But, so, you know, uh, like, they, they moved, and the, and the people from that region are, are different enough mm -hmm. where the, the region, the, you know, are from, they're from Israel. And that's not Africa. It's the Middle East. So, like, you know, it's like uh, a different. I see what you're saying. The point of what I'm yeah. saying is that Kyrie Irving and what he was trying to do was he was trying to shed light on the information that, you know, we as black people should be more informed about our history and what happened in the past, uh, right. in my opinion. I think he just I, made a mistake. I, I think so, too. Documentary. Yeah. He, yeah, he yeah, should let have me, picked a fucking different documentary. You yeah, know? let me finish my point, though. Let me finish my yeah, point, yeah. though. So. I think Kyrie Irving, I do agree with you to an extent where he probably didn't do the homework and see if there's any anti-Semitic views, and I understand that. But I think there's a bigger issue at large here. I think that this is an opportunity to, for Kyrie Irving is a guy who's known to speak out, speak out against the norm, think outside the box, and he's a guy that is trying to shed light on the information. And one of those is the secret societies of America, the elites of the elites. I personally believe that there's secret societies in this world. And now this is a perfect guy to Kyrie Irving, a guy who's a good citizen, who's an outstanding human being, who does nothing but preach love and caring to one, one another. This is a perfect opportunity for them to diminish his image so that people will not listen to him anymore. Because he's a guy that thinks outside the box. He's a guy that doesn't think within the confines of what the social norms are. And this is a perfect opportunity where this is how strategic that they fucking work. What they're going to do is they're going to connect Kyrie Irving to something of extreme negative value, like anti-Semitism. And we, us as human beings are negative, I mean, are visual creatures. So when we see Kyrie Irving and something in, in that negative light, on, and our unconscious mind are going to start viewing Kyrie and his name in a negative light. And that's what they're doing to Kyrie Irving. This is more about trying to diminish him and his image rather than what he was doing. It's easy to understand where he was coming from. You even understand where he was coming from. He did not come from a place of hate. He did not come from a place of harm. But what are they doing? They want to ruin this guy's image. Because of what? Because he is a guy who thinks outside the box, and he is a guy that goes against the norms and wants to shed light about the secret societies of America, secret societies of the world, and try to shed light about people who are spreading love and not stop trying to ostracize each other for opinions and things like that. I'm, I think I read an article about him giving water to some Pakistanians. Like, he's a great human being, and I think right now it's just a perfect opportunity for people to try to diminish his image. Can I speak on this for a second? Please do. The brother that's a Jew. Um, this seems like this is the type of conversation that needs to be had on a national level because there's, agree, levels, yeah, of, there's levels of ignorance that go out that people never get a chance to address because if one thing is said, the word anti-Semitic comes up and that shuts everything down because that's been portrayed as this such negative and vile and evil thing. The problem is like I'm listening to you and you freely on here for the whole world to hear admit that you are asking us, right? So anybody that can process, anybody that can research could go right and say, where did Ashkenazi Jews come from? And when they research it, they're going to find out that Ashkenaz did not come from Shem. They came from Jaffa. There's three lines that you have to come from. You're coming from Ham, you're coming from Shem, or you're coming from Jaffa. And you admitted you're an Ashkenazi Jew, which I believe. But you came from the line of Jaffa. If you go back- but That's not relevant though. It's, it's no, not no, even no, relevant. No, 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 it's not relevant at all. It has nothing to do with the fact that I'm Jewish or not. It's not relevant. Hold on, bro, I listen to you. I listen to you. It is relevant because when you use a word like anti-Semitic, that is coming from being anti against the line of Shem. 
That's so the, would you rather would you rather I say um brother I, I never hold on bro I never cut you off I no, you no, I know. But I'm, I'm saying, if I use the word anti semitism would you, you rather say like anti, anti white Jew? You would you rather say that? Hold okay. On, on. This is the stuff that happens. This is the ignorance that goes forth. When the truth starts to come out, it gets suppressed. This is what they're trying to do to Kyrie. They want to suppress this level of truth that's in that movie. I actually know the man personally. They wrote the books and did the movie. I know him personally. I've had him for years. But if you do any research yourself, you're admitting you're Askenaz, and I believe you. But when you look up where did Askenazi Jews come from, what line are they from? They came from the seed of Japheth. So that does not make them Shemitic or Semitic. And that's where the problem comes. That's why he's saying, how can I be anti-Semitic when I know who I am? I am from the line of Shem. So how can I be against myself? That's what he's saying. And now Jews will say like you just said. Oh, that's irrelevant. That doesn't matter. Yes, it does, because now truth is being presented to the world. And Jews don't want that truth out there because that word anti-Semitic would have zero power when they realize the people using it are not Semitic. They're not from Shem. You just admitted that. You can go to Genesis 10 and see that the Ashkenaz and the Sephardi, they came from Japheth. Now, you'd be better off saying I'm anti-Japheth, but that don't have the backing that anti-semitic hat that is so negative once that's said all conversations shut down everybody needs to be in this apology mode and council mode and, and you need to be training on how not to be sensitive and all that it's just true but nobody wants to hear this truth so then you ask yourself why why is this truth being suppressed why is it being suppressed do you deny the fact that you come from the line of Jafet, or do you know that you came from the line of Jafet? Do you that, know I mean, I'm is? telling you, that's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. It's completely irrelevant. It has nothing to do with genetics. It has nothing to do with real history. It's irrelevant. It's completely irrelevant. Did you, you already just say, say, I'm sorry. Did I already just say that? It's has irrelevant. It's nothing to do with real history. That's what he just no, said. The Bible isn't real history. We know that. It's stories. Where do you get, hold on. What does the word anti-Semitic mean then, my friend? What does it mean? A semi. A semi is from, it's very easy. A semi, a semi Where does semi from, come from? It does, it's, again, like, it's irrelevant. It's a line of people. It's irrelevant. It's, it's no, irrelevant. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. The word comes from a line of people. Quote, unquote, so would you, the chosen people. Would, would, you, would you rather? Okay. <laughs> would you? No, 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 this is a serious question. If, if, I'm so ra what would you, what would you rather? What would you rather the term people you said? Because there is hatred rather, against, against Akhenazi people. Hold on, bro. 100%. Hold on, bro. I don't need a term. The, the proper term would probably be anti jafet because that's the line you came from. You didn't okay. come from, sh from ship. But see... That, that, that's fine, then. But here, I'll, hold on, bro. I'll, 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 I'll take that. That's fine. Jafet, I don't believe that, but that's fine. Hold on, bro. Jafet is not from the chosen line of people. Shim, that line is the chosen line of people. That's the chosen people of Yah. That's uh, okay, the chosen again, people I, of God. Uh, let's but say, you just, hold on, hold on. You just, hold on. You just said it. You don't... You just said it. I heard your words. The Bible is not real history. You no, just it's not real. real. But the word, not real. The, the anti Semitic comes from the Bible. No, it it's, comes from a word that's in the Bible. I got you. Okay. All right. So you use a Bible term to defend yourself as a people, but we don't believe in the Bible. I'm not, I'm not using the. the I, must, I, want people don't like, I want people to make sense of it. You're using yeah, I'm saying if you don't like the term anti-Semitic, no, 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 bro. Yeah, no, no, no. If you don't like it to refer I'm, I'm to Shemet. Jewish people, I'm, hey, bro, okay. I'm Shemet, hey, I don't believe that, but I'm, you, I'm Shemet. I know I, am. I know who I am, so I don't have a problem with it. the problem. No, but you do though, because you don't like the term. They didn't. The, the, the people who used. don't like Jews are not referring to you, though. They're not referring to you. You they are because they're using my line. I'm from the Shemitic line. You. They didn't kill six million of your people in the Holocaust. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. And you know that. Let me ask you. Okay, let me ask you this. How many How many of my people you think got killed in the transatlantic slave trade? And you had irrelevant. Killed? It's irrelevant. You're just doing what about is It's irrelevant. They didn't okay. kill you because they didn't kill you because of your race. They didn't kill you because of your race. They enslaved no you. But not, no problem. Yeah, it's irrelevant. I, I, I think the people can see where the issue lies. When the real facts hit the table, 
the instant word from I know. multiple times has been it's, it's irrelevant. You're talking about stuff that was it's invented irrelevant. in like the 1980s or 70s. It's like not real. It's not real. <laughs> it's not real. All right, my bro. It's not real. Cool. We can get back I know to you've done your like research, but it's not real. And we all know this. You just oh, didn't I, have a Jewish I, person to tell you that. And you've never, you probably never met a Jewish bro. person. Hey, it's fine. Bro. I, I do a lot more than research. I didn't want to do an argument like this. Like, as I knew you would come against me, we're never going to agree. Well, if you actually notice, I'm not arguing with you. I'm not amped up about it. I'm saying to you there's ignorance surrounding the word anti Semitic. And the ignorance is when the truth about that word comes out, Jews want to suppress it. Ashkenazi Jews like yourself, Sephardim Jews like your brother, they want to suppress that. They don't want that level of truth coming out. And there's ignorance behind that word. All you have to say is this person anti-Semitic. Now the world's going crazy. That's what the brother above you was talking about. I don't think Kyrie's anti-Semitic. The brother above you was just talking about that. This man didn't say a word. All he did was make a post. And all these assumptions and accusations have come on him to degrade his character. The movie has a lot of information. Hold on. The movie documentary has a lot of information about who he is as an individual. Where his true history come from. But see, coming from an Ashkenazi Jew, like you are, because you admitted that, that's what you said you are. You, you make it sound like I'm like a criminal because I said I was an Ashkenazi Jew. Like, it's fucking hilarious. Bro, you admitted to being that. And you want to suppress that truth because you must get on here and you just said it. The Bible's not real. It's not real history. You know what? It's my history, though. It is real history. You don't know it's not. But it's a Hebrew book. It is. It's of course it's a Hebrew book. It's yeah, but you did. Did you grow? Hebrew. Did you did you grow up as a Hebrew? Yes. No, you probably grew. You grew up as a Hebrew. Yes. Yes. And why is everybody else around you who grew up? They grew up as a Christian. Oh, different. Hey, completely different. Hey, 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 what's your, I'm sorry, I don't even know you now. I don't want to keep I'm going Aaron. Today. Aaron, and I'm Rufus. I'm Elder Rufus. You can go to my channel, Straightway Georgia. Straightway Georgia. I've, I've seen your channel. I've seen your channel. Well, you know what I grew up in, then. you see how we. I live. do. It's who different. You, apart? you see how it's I different. Live. It's different. It different. People are different. I just don't think we're ever going to agree. The, the and I also don't think this is like an amazingly productive dialogue. <laughs> Again, right. though, I'm trying to tell you it's the it's the suppression of the truth is where the problem comes. The ignorance behind this word. Y'all want to say it and just expect the whole world to accept it to be what you say it is. That's not facts, though. Okay. Let, let's, let's, I'll, I'm not even, I don't even, let's not even address the anti Semitic stuff. All right, but hey, I appreciate there is. Hey I appreciate, hey, I appreciate you checking my page out. I appreciate. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Of course. I mean, I you know, do got to do your research. You know. Yep. I yo. There's the, there's the w- one thing. Like, yeah, go ahead. There's Holocaust denial and like in that in that move in that movie. So like that's what hold, I don't know. Hey, hey Aaron, I, I got the documentary. That's what someone told you. You didn't see that in the movie. I promise. It's you. it's. I literally saw the screenshot. The Holocaust did not happen. The murders no. like. The, the, the exaggeration of what happened in the Holocaust. That's what uh, the movie uh, speaks on. Uh, it's the same thing as Holocaust. That's what it speaks It's for. literally the same thing. And that type of that's thing. That's not the same thing, bro. That's no, no, but let, let me, this is really important, though. That type of thinking makes it seem, and you, like, makes it. Hey, my brother. At one time, in, at one time like in history. You know? One time it makes like others. At one time, it was said that only two million people got killed in the Holocaust. How we had six million now. That's, That's an exact No, not even close. I got you. All right, so it's, it, it's, it's okay. Like, right. I don't think we're, he and I are ever going to agree on this, yeah. but like, I'm glad someone, you know, could come over from talking to my side because yeah. <laughs> it's also no, like no, no. ridiculous I, things. But. No, no, I, pre- I appreciate that you guys were able to come on and, and express your perspectives. I know that last episode, there was, you know, it, felt like there was a lot of kind of from one side of the spectrum and you want to come up and share the other side. And we appreciate that you're able to come up and do that. That's why players choice exists, man. You guys are able to come up here and make, make yourselves heard. Um, so thank you for that conversation. Now we can get back into basketball talk. So Mark Mars, are you awake? <laughs>